Heather from the Friendship Factory and welcome to the 25 day Christmas craft challenge where we challenge you to make as many crafts as you can for your family and friends for this holiday season. Please stay tuned to the end of this video so you can enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300 from the Friendship Factory. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a magnet makeup board which looks like this. I put all of my favorite makeup pieces on here and it's super easy to make so let me teach you. You only need a few things to make your makeup board. You'll need some magnets. So this is a roll of magnets. The front is the magnet and the back is the sticky part. This was the cheapest I could find so I would suggest getting like a big roll like this. A pair of scissors, a hot glue gun, and some glue sticks. Some command strips these make it super simple to hang your board up on the wall so I would suggest getting something like this or you can figure out another way but that way it's easy for you to move from room to room some of your favorite makeup I would suggest using the makeup that you use the most on a daily basis just so that you can just pick it right off of the board and it's simple and easy to get off this is Tacky Spray. This is by Aileen's. This is my favorite to use. You're gonna get a smaller spray can or a bigger one. I get the bigger one because I get to use this to make glitter projects and I love glitter. So if you use this stuff, you can reuse it for further projects. You're going to need a cookie sheet. Doesn't matter what size. Um, I like the smaller end of them. Um, I would suggest getting this from a craft store because it's a little bit cheaper there. I got this one for like $4 and you're just going to use this for your makeup board. This is the whole frame of it. And then you'll also need some fabric. So this is burlap fabric that I use for mine but you can use any kind that you want and any color. That's the fun of it. Um, this is a great gift for people because you can customize it to whatever color they like and give it to them for Christmas. Um, I got like half a yard of each color. I didn't really even need that much when I made them. So you can kind of just size it and make one and then make a few more after that and decide what size you want to make them. Your first step is to lay your fabric out on the ground and take your metal cookie sheet just kind of measure how big the fabric needs to be. It only needs to cover one side of it, so it just has to have the edges kind of sticking out. So enough room around the edges to glue to the back. Now that I have my piece of fabric measured out, make sure that you have enough so that it will fill the spaces like this and then you're ready to tacky glue it down next you'll take your tacky glue and be very careful with this because you don't want it on your fingers or in your hair it just gets super messy so be super careful do it on a surface where it's no big deal to spray some glue onto and you're just going to spray your pan like you're actually making cookies which sounds super good. Set that to the side and make sure that it's even and place your piece of fabric over it and just start filling in the sides of the paint with your hands. Just kind of squeeze it in there. To make it super wrinkle free you just gotta kind of work around the edges. Kind of like it's clay, I guess. Then you're going to flip over the pan. Make sure it's pretty dry. And you're going to spray all of the edges around here. 
kind of one at a time so that you can get them down really good. Yeah. Now that you have your board all fabriced up, you're going to lay it down on the floor. And I like to add a cute little pocket to mine so that I can place anything that's not going to go on the board into the pocket. I'm just gonna cut out a piece that's big enough to fit into the pan. You'll just fold over one of the edges, get your hot glue gun out, and put glue on the edge. Be very careful because it can be hot. Leave enough space at the bottom of this so that you can fold the bottom under too. So I did that side. Gotta do this side. Since you have the sides done, you just have to fold under the bottom. So it will make a pocket. And take your hot glue gun, put some glue across the bottom, and very carefully press the bottom down. Now it looks like this, it has a pocket. Very pretty. Next you're just going to take some of your makeup that you use every day and place magnets on the back of each of them with your hot glue gun. So you'll snip off a magnet from the roll. You'll take your hot glue gun and put some glue on the back. And just keep repeating this on all of the makeup items that can fit onto your board. My makeup board is finished and it looks super cute. Um, the coolest part about this is when you give it as a gift, you can go out and purchase some eyeshadows and some really cute lip glosses and different things to place on here. So you're going to do all of that for them so they get all new makeup items. And then you can explain to them after they open it and they're like, what is this? and you explain to them what it is, you can just teach them how they can get a glue gun and do this themselves if they wanna put different makeup items on it. And it's just perfect, it's the perfect gift because it'll surprise them that you thought of something like this. I hope you enjoyed the craft we made today. If you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.